We're gonna be seeing a beautiful place here, my friends. Look at this, oh my gosh. Look what we just woke up to. This is where we are waking up in the morning. First thing, I must say, pretty unbelievable spot to be here. Subah <laughs> Surprise, how's everything? And we are arriving to one of the most incredible resorts in all of Skardu. I guess it would be considered the number one, which is Shangri-La. Open Sesame Bajan. Salam Malikum Bajan. His name is Mek. Mek. Shukriya Yar. Assalamu Alaikum Bajan. Alright. We are entering in. They got this place on high security. That's how you know it's number one. Shangri La. We're here. Yeah, no weapons allowed beyond this point. Salam! Oh, ho, ho. we're gonna be seeing a beautiful place here, my friends. Welcome, my friends, to Shangri-La. Get ready for an incredible exploration. We're gonna go get checked in here first. Assalamu alaikum Bajan. Oh yeah, this place is uh, nice and toasty. Assalamu alaikum. Ab kaise hai? Alhamdulillah. Ab theek hai. Bahut acha, mashallah. Thank you sir. Shukriya, shukriya. All right. So this is the uh, lobby over here. We've got a bunch of photos. We got to get one of my photos up here too after this uh, trip. All right. These look like they're kind of old. Oh yeah, black and white signed here. The young emperor. All right, this is a nice little vibe when we walk in. Let's check this out. Lots of feedback. So this is the uh, best, number one best in all of Skardu, yeah? You can give it. <laughs> yeah, inshallah, inshallah. Oh, what do we got over here? A little fresh juice to try out? Mm-mm-mm. That is the way to do it. Mr. Posh, can we uh, offer you a beverage here? Yes, why not? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kush, Kush, Bajan. <laughs> Yes, I can Thank you very much. All right. Ah, ah, fresh mountain air. Where to? Hopping in the car? Yeah. All right. All right. Now we are cruising to the room. Yes. All right. Perfect. Let me get a room tour first. All right, are we home? Yes, yes. Oh yeah. Time for a room tour of the new crib. So these are our views right out here. Not a single other house right up here. All right. He's getting the key. All right, so this is the Shangri-La Digs here. Ooh, it's got a good smell to it when you walk in. That's great. All right, so this is where we're going to be staying. Check out the views here. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. The bed looks... Uh... Oh, oh, yeah, that's going to get the job done nicely. And the best part, in the winter we have some nice warm heat coming out. Ah, fantastic. A TV there, definitely not gonna be watching any TV, but uh, got it just in case. And what do we got in here? A nice bathroom. So this is great. Love to see this. All of the necessities, shampoos, lotion, shower caps, and a toilet and towels there. So this is great. Gets the job done nicely. And on this side, looks like we've got some coffee and tea right here. A little workbench, 
room service right there. Shukriya Bajan. And all right, Shukriya Bajan. Shukriya. Thank you. All right, so we got a quick little room tour there of the place, and now we are going to do a short hike up to see the viewpoint from this place. So this is amazing. We have the helicopter pad here too. All right. Next time you should get your own personal. Uh, no, I'd land my drone right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be pretty sweet. See a helicopter coming in. Wonder if that's going to be a special surprise. All right, we got a nice little mystical walkway to lead up. I'm sure this would be a pretty cool one to do at night too with these lanterns. I keep thinking I'm out of shape or something because I ran out of breath in like five minutes of walking. But then I realized my body's probably just not used to being at a couple thousand meter elevation. <laughs> so it makes my lungs really work. Take deep breaths and you just don't get that oxygen like you do at sea level. But it's a really nice pathway up here, excluding this pipe that's just running through and obstructing nature. But other than that, very beautiful. Oh, it looks like that's the easy way up. People drive. We at least had to work for our view a little bit. And there it is, the Shangri-La viewpoint. Wow. Starting to get some sneak peeks of it. That looks amazing. Shangri-La. And here it is. Wow. That, that is magnificent right there. That is making me speechless. Wow, yeah, it's literally a heart-shaped lake right there. Natural too, not man-made. And it's just so still sitting here in the valley of the mountains. You get that peace and quiet being up here. And it's truly surreal. Wow. What a place. And this is all private, so I guess it is, I mean, I don't guess. You can see how luxurious this is in terms of architecture and build on everything in comparison to other parts we've experienced. And so it's definitely the high-end part. I mean, of course, if there's a helicopter pad right in front of my bedroom, that uh, shows it's for the elite. So all of this area right here with all these red roofs, that is all part of the resort, the Shangri-La Resort. Then over here on this side, we have some of the military who stays there. So that's how we know we're in a pretty safe place here, I'd say. And what about this blue one? Is that another resort? Yeah, the blue one is the military from that fence. And that one that looks another resort that can be another. Oh, okay. So this is all military here. Then right around this area, is a is guest houses and other hotels so that's really cool shangri-la's got the uh biggest portion though as you can see it stretches all the way down to where you can see those red roofs popping out right there boom we just hiked down the uh, mountain save that for you not mountain but hill here what is in here like nuts oh apricots dried apricots oh wow and we're almost down to the lake level. And we're gonna be able to see a lot more of what Shangri-La has. All right, and we have a zoo over here. So this will be interesting to check out. It almost looks like an old school fort, the way the build is. And I see something right there in the window. I wonder what that is. It seems to be hanging out. Looks almost like a reindeer, but it is an ibex. Hello there. Assalamu alaikum, Bajan. Are they friendly? Yeah. He looks like a nice Bajan. Oh, he likes humans. Hey, little guy. And he's nice and furry. Big 
other while they are run. Okay. They are used to it. Look at this big guy over here. He's just uh, looks like eating some hay. And he's got much bigger horns on the top if you can see that. He looks like he could ram something. So these things can like climb up any sort of mountain, right? Yeah, yeah, this is wild. Oh, that's, you, that one's actually wild. All of them. Oh, they're wild, wow. So they captured, they caught these and then brought them here? Mm. Wow. And now they're not afraid of humans anymore. And they're used to them. But they probably used to be when they first got brought over. Yeah. Hmm. And look at this, we've got apples, I believe, grown from these trees. And Mr. Posh knows a little secret passageway to get us down there quicker. And we're gonna head down near the lakeside. I guess there's a cafe down there, scoping the place out. And then we'll do even more exploring of this place in the morning. But this will give us a nice little, I guess you could call it blue hour, golden hour, post golden hour, blue hour. Cause the sun's still out, but hidden behind the mountains at this point. So it does give it a nice softer light on everything. Oh wow, yeah, there's literally an apple orchard right here. All those fallen apples right there. Seems like many different types of trees. Yeah. Like various apple trees, those are like the red and green apples. This is only the apple season. Like before, if you visit, there's so many like cherries, oh, apricots, wow. and other grapes. Oh, that's really nice. So it's basically a oh, fruit garden. Going to end. Yeah, the end. You can tell all the uh, leaves are changing now. This one is a cherry. This one? Mm hmm. Cholo by down this way. All right, we're gonna cholo this way and see what we're gonna find on this side. I love the uh, Chinese style architecture, given the name Shangri-La, it makes quite a lot of sense. Oh, there's an airplane right there. Yeah. Pakistan airplane, is that PIA? No, we catch it from India. Ah. And here we are, is this a restaurant up here? That's the restaurant and that's the coffee. Oh, okay. So let's the morning buffet will be here. Morning buffet, all right. This is a nice okay, vibe. Bye, John. Looks great by Jean. This is your favorite, <laughs> the coffee. Rock Lounge Cafe. What does it look like inside? Oh yeah, with views too. Yeah, that's a nice little... Uh... Oh yeah, we're back at Chocolate Rock. Inside the coffee shop. Some cakes as well. Assalamu alaikum by Jean. Good, and you? All right, great place to uh, have a morning coffee. I mean, look at this. Oh, and what's this one out here? Is that the dinner spot? It's the same restaurant. Oh, okay. Special bridge to get in though. You can go there. Sorry. Look at this. Wow, and oh, yeah, right down there. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably oh. too, whatever the uh, sun's setting on those mountains. Let's do some photography. Yeah, let's do it. Shukriya Bajan. All right. And I like how they have the place decorated. Look at these placemats, all custom made, each one different from the other. Yeah, this is incredible. This in itself is a thing to do. It's just to visit this place. Oh, we've got the plane here. Orient Skyline. When was this thing last in operation? It's, I think the details inside. Like 50 years ago? Yeah, at one point being right here, we'd be flying. And now people come in here. It looks like school desks, maybe? Or maybe that's how they used to have it. But it's now like redone with wood. Not entirely certain what it's used for. Oh. We got a little friend right down there too. What is it? Oh, okay. Hey, little guy. You see a nice one? 
You think he's nice? Or he bites? You could pet him. No? Yeah. He's... Oh. Should I test? Hey little guy. Oh yeah, yeah, he looks like he's gonna attack. Oh. All right, he almost attacked. <laughs> so here we have the uh, history of the place. This DC-3 aircraft, originally belonging to Orient Airways, took off from Scardi Airport on the 13th of October, 1954. At 8.30, it crash-landed in the Bed River of Indus with three minutes after takeoff due to left engine failure. All passengers and crew survived. Wow, that's incredible. The cockpit crew was led by Captain Sadiq Malik and co-pilot Mian Aziz, a famous writer. James Mishner had also traveled on this aircraft earlier. The crash, the crashed aircraft was purchased by Brig As uh, Aslam Khan, founder and chairman of Shangri-La Resort Hotels from Orient Airways for rupees 100 and 50 only. Wow. It took three months to move it on rollers pulled by hundreds of men, bullocks, horses to its present location. Now the aircraft has been converted into a coffee shop. One of the most favorite tourist attractions at Shangri-La. So I guess it must be a, a coffee shop when it's a little bit warmer. But probably because we're at the shoulder season, it's uh, not happening now. But look at this. There's just a huge pathway out here or like open area where you can sit around and enjoy views of the lake. Want to be pet again? Hey, little guy. Hey, little buddy. Hey, little guy. Nice little guy. Oh, you like that right there? Nice scratch right there. <laughs> this is definitely the uh, most populous place I've been in all of uh, Skardu so far. I mean, we've got lots and lots of visitors here. Looks like uh, many tourists from uh, China because we're pretty close to China here. And there's like more Shangri-La resorts right there. And I believe some of those are guest houses. And then that is all the military. The military is living well over here. Must be nice. Uh-huh. That is great. Enjoy by John's. And that right there, we gotta have a dinner there at some point. Or breakfast. Is that like a spot we can have breakfast too? Or just up there? Breakfast is there, but you can eat here also. Okay, we're gonna be coming there guys bright and early. You best believe we're gonna have a cup of joe, either outside or inside, depending on what seats are available. You can get like a coffee, coffee for coffee, this is nice. That's the spot, oh yeah. That is incredible. All right, and that was a nice little sneak peek of this place. The clouds are coming in, so we're going to save the exploration of this place, the rest of it, until tomorrow. Guys, I know it's a little bit dark, but I just went to the cafe right back there to work for the last, like, five hours. And while I was there, some of the cafe workers uh, recognized me from uh, previous videos. And then, like, 30 minutes later, all of a sudden, the Poche brothers came and said, hey, they're going to upgrade you. So they came, they went and moved me over to a new room and now it's like 10.30, I'm finally heading over there. And so I'm really excited, it's like a lake view. So I'm gonna walk around and check the place. Super excited, honestly, like I keep repeating myself, but I'm just really excited for this because I saw those from up at the top of the hill and I was like, oh, I wish I could have stayed in one of those. And so, yeah, but look at this little pathway. Everything's lit up so nicely here. Like it's, I mean, I'm walking at night and obviously it's super safe here because it's like surrounded by armed guards, military across there. So, yeah. Now I've got to figure out which one is 233. Hotel residence only, okay. That's me. All right, I think we're going in the right direction. Look at this. I hope this looks cool in the uh, GoPro for you guys. Because like for me walking around here, it's freaking awesome. <laughs> this is literally so awesome. Problem is, is I don't know which room it is and I don't see where they have the signs. 
All right, guys, after walking all the way down here, it's literally right on the edge, there's like barbed wire there. I found my spot, 233. Check that. And here we are. All right, welcome to the new place, my friends. This is awesome. It's definitely an upgrade. And it's like the location. We have lakefront. Let's check this out. Bathroom looks a little bit nicer. Slightly different layout. Got all the stuff here. And I'm going to close this so it's not so cold. Yeah, we've got the Shangri-La custom towels right there. That is sweet. And then over here we've got two beds. I don't know what for. And that must lead to someone else's room. So let's see if we can get this heater going. Oh yes. Get that thing going. And guys, I'm gonna try and wake up relatively early because I think with a sunrise right on this lake, it's gonna be one of a kind. I'm super excited for that. And we even got a desk right here, once again with all the good stuff. And boom, fast forward till the morning, my friends. Now, I didn't get up before sunrise as I originally planned. But I can tell you, we're not late. We're still gonna see some incredible views. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna regret not bringing my jacket. <laughs> That's better. Salam Bajan. All right, good morning, Scardu. Look at this, oh my gosh. Look what we just woke up to. That is unbelievable. All right, let's see if we can get ourselves a ride. Sabah b'khair, Bajan. Can I get a ride over there with you? Over here, I can go with you? Nay? Eji Bajan, it's faster with you. Tige? <laughs> it's a long walk, the kayak looks better. <laughs> He's gonna radio him and see. Look at this, guys. This is where we are waking up in the morning. First thing, I must say, pretty unbelievable spot to be here. I think this is where the other resort and the guest house starts right there because you can see there's all this barbed wire. I don't know if they're keep pe keeping people in or out, but this is uh, not where we stayed at last night. You can see a little bit better. And there's these huge villas right there. But this is insane. Look at these mountains here just... And obviously the GoPro flattens it. So imagine this in like a real life perspective, how insanely towering and massive. I don't even have all the descriptive words for it. And we've even got some fresh apples right here in front of us. So I would say this is probably in my top five favorite places I've ever stayed at in the world. Like when you're here, you just have the breath of fresh air right now. Everything is just lit up with this morning sun. Good morning. Good morning. And it is a beautiful, beautiful place here. I mean, there's just so much to look at from every direction. And I will tell you, I could stay here for weeks. You feel so inspired, refreshed, excited. And I mean, I only slept for like six hours because I was up working late last night. But the second I opened the uh, curtains this morning, I was like, I don't care that it's only been six hours. I'm going out there just to enjoy these views. This, this type of view just energizes you. It makes you feel alive. <laughs> this is insane. Like just, I'd say the rooms are like decent, you know, but when it comes to the landscape here, this is what you come here for. You come here to be in nature come here to be one with nature and be surrounded by it and that I can tell you is impressive but also you have all these like bigger guest houses you can stay in here and these I'm sure are, you know quite a bit more expensive and have a few bedrooms probably so you know those have like a nice front patio this would be awesome to come in the summer I don't know if people swim in here but I know there is a lake around here that people do swim and uh, yeah this is awesome. We might have to do a little bit of boating later on as well. 
Sabah Bakhir, Bajan. Malikum Salam. Good to see you again. How's everything? Uh, no cleaning. I kept it nice and clean today. Shukri. Abkanam Kehe. Mohammed, nice to meet you. Merna Makhe. Shukri Abajan. Nice to meet you. Good man here. He came to my door this morning because I, when I arrived back so late last night, I left the keys in the door. And so he was like, what are the keys doing in the door? And that was because I was tired. But that just goes to show you how safe this place is. Left my keys in the door overnight oh, okay. and I'm good to go. Sabah al-khair. Shukri Abajan. So here we go, a nice view of this place in the morning. We've got fall time here, we've got the colors changing. Some of the leaves starting to fall off the trees here. And as we mentioned yesterday, like this time of the year, it's apple seed or like apple picking season maybe, we're close to it. But a couple months back, it was like cherries and I think um, acrams had uh, apricots and so many more. So that part's amazing. We've got the whole squad over there doing a little uh, canoeing on this side. And right up here is where we're going to be going and trying out some nice delicious breakfast. What do we have here? We've got boating, washrooms, barbecue, DC3 plane. We went there, Rock Lounge Cafe. We've been there, Lakeview Restaurant, Pagoda Restaurant, Helipad. That was where the old room was. Animal Enclosure. We went there, Viewpoints, Meeting Room, Reception. So we've made it through a lot of the places here so far. Got a lot more to do. Salam alaikum. And there it is. You know, each time of the day offers a different experience because when we were here in the evening, it had the softer light. Now we have this morning glow and a really clear day, which adds to it. I mean, look at that, only a couple clouds in the sky and then a couple surrounding the mountains there. We are about to take you inside the most luxurious hotel in Skardu and show you their luxury breakfast. So we'll see what a luxury breakfast buffet is like. We're gonna head in this way and Check this place out. I thought I saw Mr. Akram Posh somewhere around here too. And this will lead us up. Lakeview Restaurant. Now there's Mr. Akram Posh. I see him in the window. And there he is. Waiting for him to look. Oh, he didn't look yet. Subah <laughs> Bakhir! Surprise! How's everything? I thought you were inside. No. Walaikum salam, Bajan. Oh, we're the first ones here, yeah? Alright, well, welcome to the luxury breakfast where we've got the place to ourselves. I think it's because everyone else is a few hours ahead of us. They're already doing some boating and enjoying this place. But, uh, what do we got going here? Record of service, right here. Oh, we're at the end of the buffet. So it's uh, looking pretty bare here. All right, well, hopefully the other side's a bit, uh, a bit more enticing. Uh, okay. Get ourselves some delish chow here. Is there any food left, brother, or am I too late? Ooh, yep, I came a little late. We'll get a couple paratas on there. Can never go wrong with that. Is it possible to get an omelet, brother? Yes, sir. Okay, shukriya, Bajan. Pakistani? Uh, actually, just two fried eggs would be great. Two fried eggs. Shukriya. Half fried one? Uh, half fried, please. Yeah. Shukriya. Okay. And then we'll grab ourselves some pancakes here. I'm having the basics this morning. And, alright, there we go. Let's try that one out. Salam alaikum, Bajan. All right, so we got to pick ourselves a nice spot to have lake views. Where's going to be the best? We need something. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think I think Mr. Akram Posh might have found the best spot here. All right, let's see what we've got here. Is this fresh coffee, Bajan? Yes, mixed tea. This one mixed tea. Okay. Is this one coffee? Water, hot water, hot milk, lift. Oh, okay. Small, small 
Oh, okay, so we've only got the. Uh... Oh, okay. So we've got instant coffee. This this one's hot water. Yes. All right. Ooh, that's where the fried eggs are being made. That looks mazadar, Bajan. Salam alaikum. All right, shukri Bilal. All right, well, we can go with uh, three and one. Definitely the uh, least healthy option, but uh, it's easiest. And these are the morning views we have. So what do you think? Boating time after this, brother? Yeah, why not? Kunahi. Kunahi. We've got uh, canoes over there. Looks like a larger kayak. I tried to get one of the guys to uh, pick me up. I think he was a security guard. He was uh, taking the boat across. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was uh, trying to negotiate with him for like five minutes. And he's like, no, no, I can't take you. And he tried to radio someone and then I walked away. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is what we have. A pretty uh, simple breakfast today because we arrived I think probably an hour after everyone else was eating, but uh, definitely this is going to get the job done. Let's uh, try out these pancakes, see how they are. Mm. <laughs> Try to make it bite sized, but it didn't work out. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is super tasty. A nice doughy pancake, crunch on the outside, and a good maple syrup that goes well with it. Some sweets to get the day going. I like that. Mm. All right, so we got ourselves a fresh egg. We're gonna pull that on top of the paratha bread. And we're gonna make this custom made, look at this thing. This thing's about to just spray in the mouth. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Paratha bread and eggs, that's a match made in heaven there. Mm. All right, I'd say that was amazing. My favorite thing on the uh, menu there was those eggs. They made them super well. Usually eggs taste pretty similar to me wherever I go, but I don't know, however they cooked them fried today. Those went super well with the paratha bread. All right, yar, chale chalo. Little guy. Little guy. Subah bakhir. Hey, little guy. Oh, it's nice being out here in the sun, being a black cat during the day, you absorb all that sunlight, huh? Mm hmm No one gives you attention around here, do they? You come off as a scary little guy when you're meowing, but you're just looking for some attention. Oh yeah, uh-huh, looks like we found the good spot. All right, we gotta go though, little guy. We'll see you later. Sabah b'khair, Bajan. Kese ho. Tige, tige, bohota cha. Kana bohota cha o mazadar here. Or yaha, I should say, not here. All right, Charlie.